Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Keys, and welcome to a brand new series, a brand new episode of Victoria 2. The people have spoken, they have said that they wanted to watch some Victoria 2 playthroughs, so here I am. Gonna do it. We're gonna give it a shot. So let's get started right off the bat. I know which one I'm gonna be playing as right away. Uh, it's gonna be in South America. I was gonna try Brazil, but I think I'm actually gonna give Peru a try. Um, I already, as you can see, I already did a playthrough of Brazil. I've done a couple playthroughs of Brazil already, actually. But I think Peru could be a little more fun. Uh, Alright, let's give it a go. Without further ado, and all that jazz. I got the coffee ready, and I'm ready to roll. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. So... A lot of you guys probably have watched me play a lot of the um, a lot of the Hearts of Iron playthroughs, but this is my first time doing a playthrough with Victoria 2, and I have to admit I have done maybe I would say close to maybe 20 hours of, of Victoria 2 playthrough, so I'm not as up on the gameplay as I am with Hearts of Iron. But let's get started. First thing I'm going to go for is Experimental Railroad. It's going to be the first thing I'm going to do. Let's see what our politics are. We're the Nationalists, so I can build factories right off the bat. It's kind of nice. I don't have to change government types to do that. Let's see here. Workforce, 67% is farmers, 19% of laborers. We have no slaves. Yeah. 80,000 laborers, 200,000 farmers. We have 31,000 artisans and 8,500 aristocrats okay let's give this a try so uh, I'm not gonna really figure out what I'm gonna do there budget what are we looking at okay let's bring all this bad boy up to full let's bring the tariffs up to full as well and we might have to bring these down just a tad. Well, let's see. Yeah. Let's put it right there. Just want to make the budget just a little... It's looking pretty good. Just even for the most part. Okay. We have one prestige. We have zero industrial power. We have three military power. Okay. Let's take a look at our regions. Uh, region map mode. So we probably have... Yeah, we have the ability to acquire core from Ecuador if we wanted to. Uh, let's see if we have... Nope, nothing for them yet. Oh, we are allied with Bolivia. So Ecuador is the one that we would want to go for, probably. we are to do this. Lines offer from Argentina. Sure, why not? Let's see if we can ally with Brazil as well. Okay, let's increase relations with Brazil. Let's see what... Uh... Oh, we don't have enough diplomacy in order to do that. Alright, let's do... 
purge soldiers there. Our cash situation has crashed. Straight down in the gutter. We need to make some cash. That's going to be important. Uh, how are we going to do this? Military cost of 29.5. We have some boats that are costing us. Uh, frigates. Two frigates. I'm not really sure what um, what navies can do in in uh, in this game, other than just kind of look special. I haven't really spent a whole lot of time in. with navies in this game at all. Our money, sis our money is just going to the tank. We got nothing. We need to make some cash. Come on now. Something. What if we go like this? Bring the cost of our navy down. There we go. So we don't really need it right now. Make ourselves some money. That'll help. That'll definitely help. <clears throat> Alright, so... My goal... We need a little more diplomacy in order to do that. But my goal is to grab land back from Peru. It's very much, very, very important. So let's go like that. Let's get a little more spending on our education. But yeah, if we can grab this land back from Peru, that'll help a lot. from Bolivia. Oh, shit. I really don't want to fight Brazil. I'm pretty sure between... Well, who's Brazil fighting against? Just Bolivia. No, I'm pretty sure myself and Bolivia will get our asses handed to us in that war. If we're going to give that a try, so I really don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, let's bring the speed up just a tad. Let's actually bring it up to three. Make ourselves a little bit of cash. Um, so the reason why I'm doing Experimental Railroad is uh, there's several reasons. When you build railroads in your provinces, not only do you get um, output, simulation rate, militancy for non-acceptance. Building restrictions, minority bindling restrictions. No, let's let them build and own their own houses. Let's do that. Um, so yeah, not only does it the railroads increase the... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it increased the factory throughput and the output of the RGO. Um, 
but it also increases the supply limit of those provinces as well. So the RGO is essentially what's being built there, or what's being made there. So right here, for example, we have iron. Uh, up here we have coal. Oh, right there, right there we have coal, we have sheep, uh, cattle, fish, right? Those type of things. Um, those outputs will be increased uh, at the base level with railroads, right? And railroads are much, much, much cheaper to build than um, than factories. Yeah, it doesn't employ the population. However, for the most part, that's a pretty kick-ass thing to have. Let's see what kind of navy we can build. Man of Wars, Clipper Transports, Frigates. Yeah, no, we don't need any of those. Argentina, Bolivian, Argentina liberation of Bol against Bolivia. Uh, I'm gonna say yes because I'm pretty sure Bolivia is getting their asses kicked. So I don't have to worry too much about them coming this way, because right now Brazil, Argentina, myself, and Chile are all beating the piss out of them. And I'm okay with that. I am absolutely okay with that. Our population is very low. 400,000 people. Very, very low population. So anything that we can do to increase that population is going to be great with supply limits and, and whatnot. Okay, I think we can add a little bit more to education expenses right there. Military parade. Do I want eight prestige or do I want 3.1 prestige? Eight prestige is a lot. I'm gonna do that. Eight prestige is a lot. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, it's a lot for us. Like, look, it went, it brought us from 46 up to 22, just with that eight prestige. So I am okay with that for practically doing nothing. Let those guys do all the work. It's great. <clears throat> Absolutely great. Militancy of our population is 1.08. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where it's up here. Movements. We have no movements. So that's okay. Um, this playthrough that we're going to do with Peru, we're not going to be expanding a whole lot. We'll take this area from Ecuador, and we might fully annex Ecuador eventually, right? Take it all. Uh, we might grab a little bit of land from Bolivia as well. Let's see. I wonder if we can add... Let's see what we can do here. Go to diplomacy. Uh, add war goal. Okay, we need a little more diplomacy in order to add a war goal. That's fine. I might go down here, help with the war, add a war goal, and then see what goes with that. Let's see what we need. Military or diplomacy. Uh, Argentina and Peru we're at a 0%, so I think we need a little bit higher war score in order to add a war goal. The 
war is not going well enough. I see. Well, we'll hop on La Paz here in a minute, and that might help. If we can take La Paz. <clears throat> the relation between the U.S. Literary Association of Friends, Arts and Literature Club, and Foreign Country, blah, 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 and exchanging contacts with people in Casablanca, I mean, isolated from harmful, uh, for example, having secret police browse through incoming mail, but this would cause, of course, cause a drop in relations with the foreign powers in question. We also simply ignore the issue and allow our dissatisfied Quicha subjects to establish international contact, but that might be the best idea. Yeah, let's do secret police. Forget the relations problem. Not our problem. War is not going well enough to add a war goal. So we'll take La Paz, and that should give us enough to be able to add a war goal. I hope. I hope. I hope. <laughs> it should. Okay, so... Oh, here we go. There's some Bolivian guys. It looks like... Um, it looks like uh, Brazil is out of the war. They're done. I think we can add a little bit more on both of these. Yeah, let's grab a little bit more of that. A little more prestige. We're up to 16 now. I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely okay with that. Let's see what the regions are. Yeah, if we can add war goals in the Atacama region, that would be great. Uh, diplomacy. Not yet. Close. Pass that 82% on the siege. We are almost done experimental railroad, which is nice. <clears throat> I don't think Peru. Oh no. Oh hey. Oh the comet. The comet event in uh, Vicky Two is actually nice. Colonized comet would make a fine satellite, if you ask me. <laughs> I like that. Okay, let's see if we can add a war goal yet. There we go, add war goal. Acquire state. Uh, where was it? Atacama, I think it was. Yeah, Bolivian Atacama. Okay, so diploma. Acquire state. Bolivian Atacama. Cool. I think with what we got here, we should be able to kick their ass. <clears throat> they do have troops here, but I think they are not soldiers. They're the mobilized troops. Oh, research, right. Basic chemistry is going to be our next research. While we're here, let's, uh, let's see. There's places we can expand a railroad. Yeah, let's do it there.
How much does it cost? Wow, that's very expensive. Okay. Seems very pricey to expand that railroad, but whatever. We're winning by eight or an eight percent. All right, so they pieced out. Did they piece out Chile? Oh no. Chile's at war with both. Gold Rush. Nice. Really curious as to what troops they have there. Because if they're crappy troops, I'll just attack them. If they're not, well, then yeah. Yeah, 14 hour workday population, that's fine. That makes sense, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, we're making some cash. It looks like our. Uh... Oh shit, that's way too much. Where is it? Oh no, it looks like it's just fine. 100% tariffs are working now. It's great. Okay, so that's being built. Okay, we'll expand railroad there. Looks like most of these places, because they're hills or mountains, we still can't expand. This will be the next one, that one we can. That one we can't. In our efforts to assimilate the Kucha province, blah, 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 bright minds within our administration with us, do I put building restrictions? No, that's fine. We've already been over this. <clears throat> okay, so let's see if we can attack one of their units. I don't know if this will win or not. I really shouldn't, now that I think about it. I'm not going to. I, I just don't want to. Okay, Cusco. Cusco. Where is... Oh, I can actually do it from right there. Cusco. We're going to encourage soldiers. Yeah, of course, military access. Go ahead. Wait, who are they at war with? Oh, they're at war with my ally. <laughs> Whoops. They would accept this offer. Okay. There we go. We got it. So we're out of the war. They accepted the offer. We got their land. That gave us... What did that give us? Oh, sulfur. That's nice. That's great, actually. And over time, if we can chip away at them, that would be fucking brilliant, really. Okay. So we'll expand this railroad right here. Now we're broke again. <laughs> and let's see if that created... Oh, no movements. That's kind of nice.
So we're doing quite well right off the bat. We went from like rank 40 to 17 in a very, very short amount of time. That is nice. I'm happy with that. Let those guys punch each other for a while. Okay, so now they are allied with Columbia, so I feel like I almost... Paraguay, yeah, go ahead, man. I feel like I kind of kicked myself. Well, I lost my opportunity to take advantage of that. Sucks a little. Cool, so that is, we have all the soldiers we need there. But we'll encourage soldiers a little bit longer. Might as well. We're building our railroads. That's look or yeah, that's doing well. Let's add another one. Oh, we got loans to everybody. It's okay. We'll save a little bit of cash and we'll replay all, repay, repay all those loans. Like so. Now we have no loans. It's good. I feel like if we have a really good railroad in place, when we start putting in the um, the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The industry. Once we start placing some industry around. Um, the railroad will allow us to make them more efficient, is my assumption. Okay, so we're at a truce right now. I cannot justify war. They're allied with... When is our truce... So five years. Chile and Bolivia are again fighting. Argentina and Bolivia are fighting. Brazil and Argentina and Peru are f or Paraguay are fighting. Man, South America is just a thunderdome right now. <laughs> it's kind of fun, actually. Get rid of all this stuff. No, we're doing well. This also have some like newspapers here, which sometimes are pretty interesting. But they, I think they spam them too much. It makes it more annoying than anything. So, oh, I see. Interesting. Basic chemistry is almost done here, which is nice. What did naval bases give? Colonial range plus 50. Oh, I see. So the more naval bases you have, the more colonial range you get. Interesting. Might be something to think about. There we go. So, now we'll do medicine as the next one. And then we'll start... Actually, I might do this one instead. Mechanized mining. Now, I think that will be more than enough for a 
episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you really enjoy this episode. Um, if you like this series, you like this episode, please hit the like button. If you like the series, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I always love you guys' feedback and comments all the crazy shit that you have to say, so don't forget to put that in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, keep...